Iobi life. He can't tell your lie, your knee. Iobi life. He don't know he lo jewa lo go. Time guys, uh, it's another beautiful morning uh, to talk about sport uh, and all the excitement surrounding uh, the beautiful game uh, of Formula One, uh, basketball, uh, tennis, uh, and of course, a uh, football, uh, the people's game. Uh. So, on that note, uh, I say good morning to you, sport lover. This beautiful, wonderful Wednesday morning, uh. and let me confirm to you that today is the 19th day in the month of October year 2022 and of course uh, it is the midweek edition uh, of Sporting Wave on your super dial uh, EOB Live uh. Uh, and of course uh, you already know we are broadcasting live uh, from the city of Ibadan the capital city of uh, your state uh. yes uh, this is EOB Live uh. and you know what uh, this station uh, on getting popular because uh, get the formula to make your day spectacular and if we're talking about sports uh, definitely we are in the right place uh, because uh, i have been commissioned uh, by the station uh, to take you through all the ever exciting uh, ever interesting uh, ever fascinating uh, and of course uh, ever controversial world of sport uh. We do this uh, every Monday morning, 9 a.m. Uh, to 10 a.m. Nigerian time. Uh, and on Wednesdays like this, uh, we call it uh, the midweek edition uh, of Sporting Waver uh, on your Super Dial EOB, uh, where we give you all the critical analysis, uh, stories, and actions uh, coming from the world of sport. Uh, trust me, uh, we are the best uh, in the West uh, and beyond the West. Uh. My name uh, is Ayomikun Adeni. You can simply call me Purity and we will be fine. So tell your friends in Bodija, tell them in Bere, tell them all across the bottom that Sporting Wave is here to give you all the sensitive stories that are coming from the world of sport this beautiful Wednesday morning. All right, guys, uh, a whole lot to talk about uh, this beautiful mor- uh, Wednesday morning. Uh. Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and sport lovers, NBA 2022, 2023 season has started and already we've been seeing actions coming from the world of NBA, talking about a basketballer. So if you are a basketball lover, you love basketball. This is the right time, man. Here we give you all the updates coming from the world of basketball this morning. And early hours of today, we saw actions, matches against the Golden State Warriors and LA Lakers. Early hours of today, it was battle to battle. And at the end of the day, Golden State Warriors won that particular encounter. And also, Boxing Celtics against Philadelphia. Their actions uh, came true early hours of this morning. Uh, and at the end of the day, Boston Celtics uh, were uh, the winner. And of course, uh, we've been seeing players. Uh, Steph Curry, 35 points yesterday. LeBron James also went on fire yesterday. A lot, uh, a lot, a lot to talk about. Uh, 
this morning uh, and not to forget uh, that yesterday in the English Premier League uh, matches were decided and of course uh, Nottingham Forest again uh, got a draw uh. against Brighton uh, and not to forget Crystal Palace uh, were also in action and at the end of the day it was 2-1 uh, in their favour and in the Spanish La Liga some matches were decided uh, Sevilla against Valencia it was uh, a draw Gatafi against Atletico Club, it was 2-2 draw, and not to forget, Real Madrid were also in action, and they got draw, and also this morning we talk about the Ballon d'Or, you already know, Karim Benzema, the big Benz, like we like to call him, was crowned the winner of the Ballon d'Or, and also Sadio Mane were the second, and not to forget, that Kevin De Bruyne was in third position. A whole lot to talk about this morning. And not to forget every other story is putting across the world of sports talking about injuries. Players has been ruled out. Some players has been ruled out of World Cup. We give you all the list this morning. And not to forget. The fever under 17 women World Cup right here in India. Nigeria are true to the finals in their last game against Chile. They won by two goals to one. And also, we saw USA against Morocco. It was four goals to nothing in favor of Morocco. And not to forget, Tanzania were also in action. The debutants are against Canada. And at the end of the day, it was 1 1. And uh, currently, uh, Nigeria and Tanzania are the only African team uh, that has progressed uh, to the next stage of their competition. These uh, are many more to come your way this beautiful Wednesday morning. Uh, like I said earlier, we give you all the best uh, right here on your super dial EOB. Have much time this morning, but Lisa, we have a lot of story to save you breakfast. Uh-huh. A lot of, I mean, enough of introduction. Let's dive into action. And this morning, we'll be starting from India talking about uh, the fever women on the 17 World Cup. Like I said, uh, we are done with the group stage. Uh, and currently, we are proceeding uh, to the quarterfinals uh, of our competition. Uh, or in the last game of the group stage, uh, and let me quickly give you actions uh, coming from the last game uh, of the group stage. Uh. You already know, Colombia uh, defeated Mexico by two goals to one. Uh, and elsewhere, China were in action against Spain, uh, where Spain uh, defeated China by one goal to nothing. Uh-huh. Elsewhere, Japan uh, against France. Uh, Japan two, France nothing. And uh, Tanzania against Canada. The debutant uh, Tanzania play a 1-1 one, one draw against Canada. Also, you know, Nigeria were in action eh, against Chile. Two goals to one eh, in favor of Nigeria. And the captain of the team opening the scoring, talking about a uh, blessing Emmanuel in the fourth minute uh, and in the 82 minute. Piso uh, Lab Mosaku double it uh, and at the end of the day, a penalty against Nigeria to make it 2-1 uh, uh, in favor uh, of the Flamingo team uh, of Nigeria. Quickly, the girls uh, has been separated uh, from the ladies. Uh, some teams uh, have progressed to the next stage, uh, while some have dropped out of the competition. In Group A, we have USA with seven points. Uh, Followed uh, by Brazil, it's also seven points uh, separated. We just go different. Uh. In the third position, we have Morocco. And in the last position of Group A, we have the old Indian, just uh, no point. Uh. 
in group B we have the Flamingos of Nigeria. Damn near. Top the group with Mazimo nine pointer, followed by the Flamingos of Nigeria with six pointer. Chile also with just three pointer, and New Zealand with zero pointer. In group C, Colombia with six pointer. Spain with six point of Mexico with three point China with three point like, like I said we could see it's a group of that because all the team in that particular group were three points up before the last game and the last game just like the final and at the end of the day Colombia and Spain make it to the next round in group D we have Japan getting their nine maximum points to top the group, followed by the Tanzania with four points, Canada with just two points, and France uh, with one point. So these are the pictures of the quarterfinals. Nigeria will make us to USA on the 19th female team on Friday, 12 noon Nigerian time. And that counts a promise to be an interesting one. And not to forget that. Nigerian and always uh, the drop out of this particular competition uh, right in this particular state talking about the quarterfinals uh, and on Friday they will be on action against uh, the mighty USA we wish them all the good luck though 4 p.m. Nigerian time to be uh, the son of uh, Germany versus uh, Brazil you know Germany got all their nine maximum points uh, I'll be facing that. the team uh, from Brazil on Friday and on Saturday. Actions will resume uh, when Colombia will log it out uh, against uh, African side Tanzania. And this is that day, 4 p.m. Nigerian time. It will be the time of Japan up against Spain. Uh, interesting uh, and interesting pictures are coming from uh, the board uh, of under 17 women world cup this morning uh, and currently we have uh, the leading goal scorer challenge root caller of usa with three goals uh, from three games uh, followed by lauren bender of germany with three goals uh, in three games uh, and not to forget linda casedo uh. of colombia also with three goals uh, Moko of, of Japan with three points also. Alan Gomez Amaro of Brazil with two goals. And not to forget Emily Lewis of New Zealand with two goals. Adosa are the leading goal scorer. And when we're talking about assist of this tournament, we have our own Amino Omawumi Bello with three assists, followed by Mara Abba of Germany with three assists. And not to forget uh, Martine Villarreal of USA with also two assists. So those are the reports coming from India this particular morning, away from India this morning. talking about Nigeria and we will be talking about a uh, MPFS season currently the MPS season the MPFS season has not been announced but I must confirm to you that the club owners and club directors had a meeting with the new NFL president talking about Alaji Ibrahim Musa Gasso and they have made a 10 point agenda for the MPFL season issues uh, that are affecting the league, uh, talking about a uh, lack of fund, uh, lack of sponsorship, uh, and not to forget, uh, poor officiating, uh, and those uh, are the factors uh, that are affecting uh, the Nigerian league. So I must confirm to you that clubs, uh, they have met uh, and they have discussed uh, for them to get a way forward. Uh, to help our league up to now, I must confirm to you that the date of the new MPFL season has not been released. Oh my god, this is Nigeria. Away from that, this morning we'll talk about the calf playoff 
Plateau United and Rivers United are set to face their Libyan opponent yesterday. The Confederation of African Football, CAFA, have released the draw for the playoff round of Confederation Cup. The two Nigerian clubs talking about Rivers United and Plateau United are among the team that will be drawn. That was drawn yesterday afternoon right there in Cairo. And I must confirm to you that the champions of Nigeria Premier League talking about Rivers United will be facing a nasty of the girls. of Benghazi in Libya right there and also Plateau United will be facing Al Akata of Libya and I must confirm to you that the first leg of the Rivers United encounter will be played at a Adoki and Miss Marker Stadium right here in Portacourt. The second of November. And Plate United also we play their first leg at the MKO Abiola Stadium in Abuja. And they will play the reverse leg right here in Libya on the night of November. Those are the world coming up from the world of uh, Champions League, talking about African Champions League this particular morning. Away from that this morning, we move straight to the camp of the under 23 Olympic Eagles. Earlier reports tell us uh, that the guys are currently right here in the Asian city of Ibadan, where they are camping and they are preparation qualifiers of the Olympic Games. Double header qualifier against Tanzania. The first leg will be played right there in Tanzania. And the second leg will be played right there at the Lake Consolami Stadium at Damasica in the brief city of Ibadan. Right there, we will be giving you actions and, and stories and reports coming from that particular camp. And today, it will be a, a friendly match between Shooting Stars and the under 23 Eagles right there at Lake Osalami Stadium, 4 p.m. Nigerian time. And I promise you, we will be there. I'll be giving you reports coming from that particular encounter. And I must confirm to you that the Tanzania have been going through intensive training in their preparation against the Nigerian side. I must confirm to you that at the end of the day, not going to be an easy encounter. But trust me, we will give you all you need to know, all you need to hear about that particular uh, that tournament. On Monday, reports came out uh, that 10 players uh, out of uh, invited players uh, has been sent back in uh, due to eight fraudulent. Uh, and I must confirm to you that we have another new set of 10 players that are built outside Nigeria and 10 of them are currently in camp. And definitely, they are going to be in action today. 4 p.m. Nigerian time. You have to be there at the Lake on Salami Stadium at Damascus by Ibadan. We are the Oriole Warriors. We'll be locking it down against under 23 Olympic Eagles. Away from that this morning, we will talk about awards. Uh, Monday evening, it's no more news that Karim Benzema wins the Ballon d'Or. I must confirm to you that Karim Benzema got the highest vote. Having scored 15 goals last season Champions League. And at the end of the day, the Frenchman scored 44 goals in last season winning the Spanish La Liga and also Champions League and on Monday he was crowned the winner of the Ballon d'Or. Also not to forget uh, that, that the best player talking about uh, under 21 went to Barcelona Gavi, the best striker of the year award goes to Lewandowski. Uh, 
guest goalkeeper right there. He went to Tubacotua. And not to forget, Fire Sadio Mane won the Socrates Prize Award. Being the best humanitarian, talking about the world football and the club. Club of the Year Award went to Manchester City, talking about uh, the champions uh, of English Premier League and also the finalists uh, of last season. The semi finalists uh, of last season Champions League. Uh, away from that, uh, we will talk about uh, one particular man talking about uh, Sadio Mane winning the first ever. Socrates Award due to uh, his humanitarian gesture. Sadio Mane became the first footballer ever to win the Socrates Award formulated by the magazine French Football to praise Social action carried out outside football life, and I must confirm to you that young man talking about Karim Benzema has been doing wonderfully well outside football. He built an hospital in his hometown, uh-huh. touching life and enriching people in his community and far beyond. So I think and I believe the award was a well-deserved award. And this morning also, we will talk about injuries. Players has been ruled out of the World Cup. Players that will be missing their club actions. And this morning, let me confirm to you that Diego Jota of Liverpool and the Portugal national team has been ruled out of, of the World Cup. Diego Jota is said to miss a prolonged spell after suspen- sustaining a calf injury in one all win over Manchester City. The Liverpool was on the way to hear that Manchester first defeat of the season. But uh, the Liverpool forward has joined uh, several numbers uh, of in- Liverpool players uh, that has been injured earlier last week and we got a report that Luis Diaz has been ruled out of, of the World Cup and currently Diego Jota has also joined an endless list of players that have been missing through the World Cup and not to forget Newcastle record signing Alessandra Isaac also has been ruled out of, of the World Cup and last week, we are still talking and battling about Ingolo County. we we'll be missing the next four to five weeks of games for Chelsea. And it has been confirmed that Ingolo County will also be missing the World Cup. And not to forget, Rhys James also will be missing the World Cup. Di Maria will also be missing the World Cup. And not to forget, Pablo Dybala. Might be ruled out of the World Cup. So many injuries are coming out of the world of football this morning. So many stories are this morning. But right about now, we'll be going on a short commercial break. When we return, uh, one thing is certain, sporting wave will continue. When you told you, I get a lot of first for the money, baby. The Febo Shinlo Lowa, Kibo, why you marry Louis and why you Jara? EOB must concept the better. Nikak was Siloni for your event live streaming and post production with digital video and photo. Why you're young, you don't bother. And then the low by you by the lorry at our Ketra servers. 
pelu awon professional osha e ma ronu ibi meji eob motor concept nigeria limited no de ke e pe boye yi fe po lowo oja yin tabi ijo olorun yin e kan si eob live online visual and radio be atunleje agbenu so atashoju fun ile ise yin ka kiri apaye be ba wa nwa tu ko eto iyan mc lodi aria eob motor concept no ni ke ma bo afin da yin loju pa o le ja yin kule aye ye yin ma du mani gba pe pelu e ri keke fun e ku ready ala yi awon ero ba ni so ni ke ma pe 08056683178 tabi 08030405500 olorun ogo ni foruko re pelu eob motor concept limited make your event a memorable one Alright guys, uh, you welcome back. Uh, this uh, is the uh, Sporting Wave uh, on your Super Dial EOB. And of course, uh, we're broadcasting live uh, from the city of Ibadan. This is Sporting Wave uh, where we give you all the latest coming from the ever exciting, ever interesting, uh, ever controversial world of sport. Uh, and this morning, uh, we'll be talking about a whole lot of stories. Uh, and currently, we'll be moving straight uh, to the world of basketball, NBA season. Uh, that started early hours of this this morning. Uh, Golden State Warriors against uh, LA Lakers. Uh, I must confirm to you during the preseason tour, uh, the only match uh, that LA Lakers was won was against uh, the Golden State Warriors. Uh, but come on, guys, uh, this is new season uh, and the real season. Uh, and yesterday, Golden State Warriors uh, defeated uh, uh, LA Lakers uh, by 122. 109 and I must confirm to you in the first quarter of that encounter Golden State Warriors got 25 points to 22 points for LA Lakers and in the second quarter also the double their leader in the third quarter Golden State Warriors were on fire as they scored 33 points to 19 points from LA Lakers in the fourth quarter and the only quarter won by LA Lakers 39 to 32. At the end of the day, it was 122, 123, 109 in favor of Golden State Warriors. And I must confirm to you that the guy on fire yesterday, Steve Correa, scored 33 points. Six rebound and seven assists, and not to forget Andrews Wings with 20 points, six rebound, and four assists. And Thompson yesterday also, sorry, early hours of today, Thompson scoring 18 points, two rebound, and three assists. And for the Lakers, LeBron James scoring 39, 31 points. 14 rebounds and 8 assists. Those are the actions and reports coming from the world of NBA. And also, earlier hours of today, there was an uh, intensive match between Boston Celtic against the Philadelphia. And at the end of the game, it was 126 against 117 in favor of Boston Celtic. And I must confirm to you, in the first quarter, it was the Philadelphia games because they won the first quarter with 29 points against 24 points for Boston. And in the second quarter, the Celtic came back winning and getting 29 points to 24 points. In the third quarter, it was the game of the Celtic winning. 35 points to 24 points, and at the end of the game, it was 126 against 117 uh, uh, in favor of Boston Celtics. Uh, uh, I must tell you, it is the game of 35 points because the likes of Brown scoring 35 points, two assists, and three rebounds, and not to forget. Tatum with also 35 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 assists. And for the Philadelphia, you already know, 
games add in uh, scoring 35 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists. Uh, all the ways. And today, early hours of tomorrow morning, uh, 12 act matches uh, will be decided. Uh, the likes uh, of Indiana Pacers uh, will be facing Wash uh, Washington Wizards. Uh, and not to forget Miami Heat against Chicago Bulls. Uh, Brooklyn Nets will be on action. Uh, Toronto Raptors uh, will also be in action. Uh, and not to forget Atlanta Hooks uh, against the Rockets. New York Knicks uh, will also be in action. Uh, early hours of tomorrow. Phoenix Sun uh, will also be in action. Uh, so a low lot uh, to watch uh, when he talks about, about uh, the NBA's. And quickly before we go this morning, uh, let me give you actions. Uh, that will be coming out uh, later today. Liverpool, they <laughs> owe Liverpool uh, will be on action against West Ham United. Brentford, we host Chelsea. Uh, no Castle will also be in action uh, against uh, Everton. And not to forget, Parliament uh, against Southampton. And one of the biggest matches today be the match uh, against Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur. And tomorrow, action will return. We have Fuam, face Everton, face Aston Villa. And later tomorrow, Leicester City. Leicester City will face Leeds United. And that is coming from EPL. And today also, in the La Liga. Uh -huh. Real Madrid will be in action against Leche. And not to forget that Cadiz will make us to Real Betis. And also tomorrow, Ameria against Girona. Osasuna against Espanyol. Barcelona against Real Madrid. A lot of, a lot of actions that will be coming your way today and tomorrow. And I must confirm to you and say a very big thank you to all the guys uh, on all our social media platforms talking about uh, October Femi and on saying more wisdom, Mr. Sport. Uh -huh. Aki Alabi Samuel saying, Wait well on, sir. Sincerely, I must thank uh, my options to you guys. Uh, saying, Good morning, Mr. Sport, man. Thank you for being part of my world uh, this morning. Uh, and I must confirm to you, 34 minutes, uh, gone like 34 seconds. Uh, I still remain my humble self. Uh, and your milk at any your regular hours uh, on this particular uh, show. Until I come your way again. Stay blessed. Stay out of trouble. Not to forget, uh, we will return uh, on Monday morning uh, on Sporting Wave or uh, your Super Dad EOB, where we give you all the reports coming from the weekend actions. Uh, stay blessed, uh, stay out of trouble, keep fit, uh, and don't to forget uh, that today at Lake Osalami Stadium, uh, there will be action uh, between uh, shooting stars uh, against uh, on the 23 Olympic Eagles. Stay blessed uh, until I come your way again. I am I am a I'm out of the studio.